the constant returns a flat constant value, in this case the default black, and it gives us a nice opportunity to examine the default nuke way of determining color value. We have the color picker over here. Take it over to this color bar I've set up here. I can command click on any one of these colors, determine that value, or command shift to drag across a range. We can also get our colors from a color picker here with fairly predictable options. We have RGB, HSV, color wheel, color swatches. You can also, I mean, my favorite is the uh, HSV. I find that quite easy and, and uh, intuitive to understand. And you can, should you want, show them, uh, express them, have them expressed as dynamic values. So the values you see in the bars reflect the actual value you're going to have on the screen. Personally, I find that a little bit confusing. The color swatches there, you have the ability, should you so choose, to store a color, just drag and drop it into that place there. Let's drag another one over there. This little fella here, well, we can use these numeric boxes to adjust the values numerically. If you select one of the digits and option drag to the left and right, you can change those values accordingly. Currently it's expressing as four values, R, G, B and A. You can change that to a, a gang up of one single slider. You'll notice that as I do that, it loses its color becomes a, a grayscale slider essentially. Now one of the nice things about, one, for me the major difference between picking a color like this and picking it numerically is that we can go further, we can go brighter than white and darker than black. Now obviously you don't see any difference here on the screen, but for operations like multiply this is very important.